Welcome back. We have chicken in the oven, and we're also making a flank steak dish, uh, getting ready for Labor Day barbecues. And what are you doing now, right So here? now that chicken gets a salsa. Okay, great. So with the salsa, what you want to do is you just want to get as ripe of an avocado as you possibly can get. And I think what I'm going to do is just take the skin off and... Um, Those really are ripe. Yeah, real ripe. But that's a good thing. Right. Mash easy. Yeah. And I'm not going to mash them. I'm just going to do a real rough chop to them. Okay, great. And then I'm going to add oranges, some uh, fresh squeezed lime juice. And one of the reasons for the lime juice is to retard the um, avocado from turning brown. Yeah. I've so, heard that as yeah, a tip. And it, and it works really well. Yeah. I've, I've read some funny stuff about avocados. They go from not ripe, not ripe, not ripe, ripe, not ripe. <laughs> or overripe, or overripe. Over <laughs> yeah, right? yum, 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 they don't yum, have yum. much of a shelf life. No, avocados are te very temperamental, they are. to say the least. You should see the mess I'm making back here. It's not eh, a mess. It's a mess, it's a mess, it's a mess. <laughs> That's okay. So all I want to do here Quick is chop. do a real rough chop to this. Okay. Then nothing perfect. And why don't you start putting all, not those, but Just these. Just okay. Yeah, this. Okay. All right, so we have our oranges. This. Is this jalapeno? Is that what you said? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess that can be to taste and seeds and all that stuff. Yep. Oh, seeds are good. I like the seeds. Okay, here's your lime juice. Right. Now here comes all of my avocado and here's cilantro. Okay. I can't really get these last. That's all right. Okay. I think it's enough. And how, do you want all of the cilantro? Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you like cilantro? I love it. Okay. I'm some, okay with that. I just some people, sure. some people do not like it okay. at all. I know. And consequently, it's a, it's a genetic thing, is which I first I didn't believe that. I thought that's crazy. Uh, but it is. Now, I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in I put olive oil in everything. Now, what I'd like you to do is just grab a rubber spatula from back there. Okay. And would you mind terribly tossing this? I We're going to add mind season at all. it with some salt and pepper. Sure. And then while you're doing that, I'll tell you very quickly what I am going to be doing with my flank steak. I'm going to score the top of the flank steak. What does that mean to score it? Um, I'm just going to make like a crosshatch okay. um, cuts on the flank steak so that the marinade that I'm making will it sort of sink into it. I'm making a little bit of a mess. That's okay and I have a, a bowl for you to put that in. Okay. Okay, so you just, you look, see how I'm just taking a knife? I'm hoping we can see that, can see that. And a yep. diagonal. And now I'm going to do it this way. See that? Just like that. Great. So that you have, you want to open it up a little bit. Mm, look this how is beautiful yummy. that looks. Mm, mm, mm. Well, you did it. I did nothing. You I got, did it what all. I did was make a mess. No, you did a good <laughs> job. Look at that. that. See, I'm the cleaner upper. Just on the floor. All right, so now <laughs> a marinade. I have here some white wine. I've got garlic and I have shallots. Okay, just everything goes in there. Get a spoon, would be helpful. And I have some Dijon mustard. I okay. like the tang of the Dijon mustard. Yeah, so me good. too. And then what do you have in here? The parsley, can you just dump that in sure. there? Great marinade. And Once that's so again. easy. Now, why mustard? Oh, that was steak? tarragon. I'm oh, sorry. Tarragon. I said, okay. did I say, what did I say? It's, it's tarragon. I think I said parsley. I think you did too. No, no. Okay, so I just put all of this in here. Boom, boom, boom. Mix, mix, mix. How long are we marinating this? Overnight. Oh, okay. Yep. And now, when you do a marinade on a steak overnight, do you wrap it in saran wrap? I do. on the sheet pan? And um, ordinarily, I would put it like in a, a glass Pyrex type okay. of a. Um, a container and wrap it with plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator overnight. And then when you're ready to grill, grill it. And then I would toss it around a little bit too. Make sure so it's all, that, all covered. Yeah, evenly. so you got all of that going on. Boy, Great. we did make a mess, didn't we? Well, that's okay. Look at <laughs> us. That <laughs> means we're cooking. It's not fun in the kitchen until no, you're making a that mess. Totally right? means we're cooking. Okay, so now we did all of that, right? Now it's time to eat. I'm okay. Are you ready for that? I, yeah. <laughs> You know me. <laughs> All right. So here is this. And oh, man. You can hear man, the sizzling oh, man, coming oh, out of the man, oven. Guys, we got it all going on here. So now you had the steak in the in the uh, oven there, but normally you would throw it on the grill. Well, I can did. Yeah, grill it. Okay. Lovely. Look at that. 
Oh, Rainia, that looks beautiful. And look at the char on the oranges. Look at that. Wow. So let's just Beautiful. Do, you know what I'm going to do? I am going to lift this off of here. And what I'm going to do, just for because of this is so hot. So, so hot. I'll just turn this oh, up and off and put everything right back in there. Okay, so we have our plates ready. Ah, yay. I hope you dig in today, too, because I feel like uh, you're admiring this. You must be hungry, okay, too. Okay, so... What, um, what we, well, it's not liking me at the moment. Okay, <laughs> stop. Okay, so. Cut it on an angle. Yeah. And this salsa that we made, can this be used for both? No, just for the chicken. Just for the chicken, okay. Look at that. It is Lovely. thrilled to perfection. If I could just show you here. That looks so. Do you see that nice pink? And how long are you grilling this? Oh, like just a few minutes on, on each side. side. Okay. So you have a knife there? I do. All right, you do that. And then, uh, this is all cooked, I'll do a piece of the chicken for you here. Hey. Okay. Oh, and the boozy pops, we forgot. I'm going to tell you all about those. I'll pull them out. Okay. How much time do we have? Not very long. Okay. Here, wait, that, you have to lift them uh, this way. Okay. Okay, you do that. Okay. They're boozy pops. Um, a grapefruit juice. Steak is delicious. Um, an Italian bitter called Campari. Sweet vermouth. All mixed up, put them in a popsicle mm. container. And boom. Aren't they gorgeous? Boozy pops. Here, try one. Okay. Three cups of orange juice and a third of a cup of each of the Campari and the Ooh. sweet vermouth. Not a lot of booze. No, but it's lovely. Because it wouldn't freeze. Yeah. See, Negroni has gin in it. It's really good. You can't good. do that. That's why I did the pink grape juice. I well, love I it. I didn't. Food Network. So good. Anyway. I'd keep eating it, but my teeth would get cold. Um, I don't know. It's all right. That <laughs> I'll eat with you. Okay, here you go. <laughs> for a copy of today's recipes, you can visit our website, kdka.com slash PTL. We'll have them posted for you there. We're also going to have a link to Rainia's Catering in case you're short on time and need her to do the staff and the staff to do the cooking for you.